Well, Oxfam Ireland cares about tax because it's probably one of the central development issues at the moment. We live in a globalised world where international financial transactions are connected. So from a village in Nigeria to the financial centres in London and Dublin, we're all connected. Activists who have joined us from Nigeria and Kenya, and they're really... Um really able to speak about the human impact of tax avoidance, what happens when big companies don't pay the tax that they ought to, particularly in poorer nations. Um, and part of the reason that they're able to get away with that is they're able to route money through other low tax jurisdictions. It becomes uh, a very big problem in the sense that they can't access even basic health services. And when you're sick, you basically can't work. When you can't work, you can't, make, you can't earn an income. When you can't earn an income, you can't pay for your children's school fees. When you can't pay your children's school fees, they stay at home. So it's a cycle of poverty. It's, it's not a favour the government is providing the services to the people. It's their right to access uh, hospitals, well-equipped hospitals at that, to access uh, schools, uh, public infrastructure that's well-developed and well-managed, uh, water, for example, health services, as I mentioned earlier, and sanitation. So that's a real direct linkage, in my opinion, between taxation and uh, access to public services. I I mentioned to you three um, all companies that um, are operating in this community. The Nigerian government gave them a 10-year tax holiday, and within this period, the country lost 3.3 billion US dollars, almost three times the budget for Nigeria's education. So that money could have provided schools for this community and hundreds of others. We have an opportunity to build a more human economy where the interests of the majority are put first. A world where tax havens are something people read about in history books and where everyone pays their fair share to support a society that benefits everyone. Unless we act now to end corporate tax avoidance and address Ireland's role in facilitating it, we won't achieve the target to end extreme poverty. And all of us in this room must believe that that's possible, that we have a role to play in that. Ireland has an important role to play in that and can do so while protecting its own prosperity. Thank you.